this presentation, we will discuss the concept of the pathways connecting the realms on the Tree of Clifford, which are known as the Tunnels of Set. The Tunnels of Set are 22 paths connecting the Clifford, which correspond to pathways on the Tree of Life connecting the Sephiroth. The name itself is derived from the writings of Kenneth Grant and refers to the ancient Egyptian god Set, who appears here because of his role in the Typhonian tradition. In this tradition, the Tree of Night, believed to embrace emanations of the mother goddess Typhon, is thought to contain all the dark and destructive energy in the universe. As the son of the Typhonian goddess, personification of the dark feminine, Set stands as a guardian at the entrance to the abyss, which exists within the hidden Sephira Dove on both sides of the tree, connecting the Clifoth and the Sephiroth. The Gate of Death is called the Desert of Set, and it is thought that here we can open the way to realms and dimensions of what is called the Universe B, and in my ritual system stands for Sitra Ara, the other side. Each tunnel has different powers and represents a different concept, revealing a unique aspect of the universe, as well as the consciousness of the practitioner. Therefore, they can be compared to a web of cells in the subconscious mind, which in most people are inactive and dormant, but can be awakened through cathodic meditations and exploration of the concepts represented by these realms. Each tunnel corresponds to a path on the tree of life, forming its dark counterpart. However, like the Clifodic realms themselves, the tunnels cannot be seen as a coherent linear map that leads from one point to the other. Instead, they contain the chaos and immensity of the night side, each one leading to many different dimensions at the same time, like in the web of the spider goddess. For this reason, here in the temple, we approach this work from the perspective of the spider current, working with Arachna as the guide and the ruling force of the whole network of tunnels. The 22 tunnels of Set are also believed to correspond to the scales of the dragon, the current that flows through the whole tree of night. The pathways of the dark tree transmit the energy of the 11 macrocosmic spheres of power to the corresponding nervous centers within the human body. Together, they represent 33 principles, 22 tunnels plus 11 cliffs, that form a map of initiation on the path of the cliff of. In the tunnels we encounter primal atavisms, forgotten archetypes and concepts that reach back to the time when mankind was in direct contact with the essence of the universe and its creative power. In Necronomicon Gnosis, these primal forces are known as the Great Old Ones, forgotten beings existing in between spaces and dimensions, dead but dreaming, undefined and amorphous. Here they emerge from the depths of the subconscious as demons, shades, phantoms and monsters. The purpose of this work is to embrace them as a part of our conscious mind. This gives us access to their powers and abilities, helps us awaken our dormant psychic faculties and progress on the path of self-initiation. The following list is a brief overview of the 22 pathways. And so we have Amprodius which represents mysteries of the irrational taken to extremes. Exploration of insanity is a tool of creation and destruction. The shattering of the veil between the worlds and the ability to see with the eye of the dragon. Then we have Baratheon, which is science as a vehicle of transcendence, stepping beyond the veil that separates the worlds and exploration of what lies outside the boundaries of reason. It is also the ability to rule the world and to become the master of our destiny. Then we have Gargophias, which is the path through the abyss. It represents mysteries of female magic and lunar rites, the power to destroy and create reality, dream magic and visual imagination as a tool to bring desire into manifestation. The next one is Dagdagil, which is the power to live through the senses and flow with the current. It is the dark feminine 
and her mysteries of time, destiny, sex and death. The womb of the universe as the source of all creation and all manifestation. Another one is Hemefterif. And this is astrology and the stellar powers of the Divine Feminine. Opening consciousness to extraterrestrial currents and embracing them for the sake of self-empowerment. It is also stellar magic and the vision of the cosmic serpent. The next tunnel, Uriens, represents authority and responsibility on magical path, self-initiation and self-confidence, rights of strength and dominance, both in the mundane and spiritual sense, self-validation on the path of isolation. Then we have some radio, which is mysteries of manifestation and non-being, stepping into the unknown, astral travel and powers of bilocation, rights to expand awareness and become a channel for the earthing of the draconian current, the merging of the male and the female. Karasif represents the chalice as the symbol of the male and the vessel of transformation, the power of casting enchantments and achieving whatever we want, mysteries of seduction, personal magnetism and sexual attraction. Tenfiyov is the magic of lust and desire, rites of creation and sexual mysteries, both for healing and destruction, theriomorphism and becoming one with primal atavistic instincts of the reptilian brain, the power of the divine feminine. And the next tunnel, Yamato, represents shamanism and vision quests, mysteries of immortality in the flesh, Rites of healing and regeneration for achieving inner wholeness. Magic of the earth and understanding of the outer dragon. The next tunnel is Kurgasiax, which is the wheel of fortune and the power to accept and change destiny. Ascendance and dominance. Mysteries of continuity and manipulation of fates. Lefkursiax is the balancing on the border of order and misrule, mysteries of truth and justice, balance and disharmony, bliss and oblivion, manifestation through annihilation of the law and exploration of creative chaos. Malkunofat is the magic of the void, mysteries of time and dissolution, exploration of the collective unconscious, the ability to dominate and to surrender the Black Goddess and the Womb of the Universe. The next one, Nyantiel, is Eros and Thanatos, mysteries of transformation through death and sex, purification through putrefaction, exploring the Midnight Sun and entering the backward path to the heart of Sitra Ara. And then we have Saxaxalim, which is alchemy and the power of transmutation annihilation of individuality and becoming one with the senses. The union of opposites through reversal and transformation. Destruction of polarities and the experience of the universe as a whole. Then we have Anonym, which represents the witch's Sabbath and the power of the evil eye. Mysteries of sex magic and the woman as the primary initiatrix sex as a force of self-expression, ability to materialize desire and worship of nature. Parfaxitas represents works of wrath and vengeance, baneful magic and psychic protection, sexual energy as a vehicle of transgression and transcendence, willpower and inner fire as a basis for magical operations. Sufliful is the magic of the irrational, mysteries of the goddess and the power of the feminine, both inner and outer, the path of passion and independence through the reversal of the traditional male-female roles in day-to-day -day reality. Kulayalfi is lucid dreaming and entering the path of imagination and self-creation, astral travel and mysteries of bewitchment, lunar magic and rites of the dark feminine. 
Roughly four represents embracing the shadow, the shedding of the ego and assumption of deific masks to alter consciousness and to explore the other side. Acquisition of wealth, both in the physical and spiritual sense. Shaliku is the shedding of the patterns of conditioning and burning that which is no longer needed on the path. Transformation through fire and freedom through destruction. Power of evocation and pyromancy. And finally we have Tantifaxa, which is mysteries of death and malefica. The crossing of the border between the mundane and all that exists beyond. Developing the ability to communicate with the denizens of Sitra Ara. In the Temple of Ascending Flame, we explore the tunnels of Set while working with the Tree of Glyphoth and in a project that is dedicated to the pathways themselves. The keeper of the keys to these pathways in our ritual system is a spider goddess Arachna, and the whole work is based on the practitioner's ability to move through the web of fates explore the correlations between the particular tunnels and to absorb their lessons and manifest their powers for the sake of self-empowerment. Arachna is also invoked before entering the tunnels, which are then explored from the perspective of the spider consciousness. To find out more about our work, check out our anthologies, all available on Amazon, and visit our website, which is ascendingflame.com